Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers. Today, Sunday, 1st October 2023, the 17th Sunday after Trinity, the 63rd Independence Anniversary of our nation, Nigeria. I want to sincerely appreciate God for our nation and congratulate Nigerians for God indeed is faithful that our nation is still together is an evidence of the faithfulness of God. Today we are looking at the topic, be profitable with them. And our text is taken from Matthew chapter 25, beginning to read at the 14th verse. Shall we pray? Eternal Father, we give you thanks and praise for your word, your eternal word. We ask, O oh Lord, that this day you will speak to our hearts and you will help us to be profitable with the gifts, talents, and endowments you have blessed us with as individuals, families, and as a nation. Thank you for our nation, Nigeria, O oh Lord. Make this nation prosperous. Make this nation profitable. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I read Matthew chapter 25 from verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and deliver his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one to each according to his own ability, and immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talent went and traded with them, and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground, and eat his lost money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and said to account with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you deliver to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more. Talents beside them. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Verse 24. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers and at my coming, I would have received back my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents. For to everyone who has, 
more will be given and he will have abundance but from him who does not have even what he has will be taken away and cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth this is the word of god thanks be to god as we look at our text today and look at our devotional topic be profitable with them the topic is speaking about the talent that the master had given these three servants. It's important to draw attention to the fact that the master gave each servant its talent according to their ability. He knew their ability, he knew what they can do, and so he gave them those talents so in accordance with their ability. God will not expect from what or from us what He has not given to us. And so as we look at this parable, we know that parables are earthly stories that convey divine eternal meaning and blessings. First, the topic be profitable with them calls our attention to the master's art in profiting every gift every talent the lord gives unto us he expects interest he expects increase and there is no one that god has not given talent in the body of christ as a member of that body you have a talent you have a gift you have something that god has given you that will be a blessing to others. That is why in the commentary of our devotional today, it opened with the statement, Jesus shared this earthly story with his disciples at a time his earthly ministry was gradually coming to an end. This parable speaks of the vital call of men in God's kingdom and the expectation of God the Father from men in the kingdom. God knows the importance of the body. Though the body has diverse parts, these parts work together a single cause, which is bringing increase into the kingdom. God knows each of us, and we have one goal in the body, is to bring increase to the kingdom of God, is to profit with what God has given unto us is to bring glory to the name of the Lord. However, the volume of your gift, talent, or treasures in the kingdom of God is not the end of the matter, but how profitable are you? The key question is, how profitable are you? Now, in the story that we've read in the passage, the man with the five talents the scripture said he went immediately to put his talent to work. The same with the man with the two talents. Went immediately to put the talent to work. God expects us to be occupied for him. God expects us to engage for him. God expects us to work. And this is also very important to us, particularly as Nigerians. Today, as we celebrate the 63rd anniversary of this nation, Nigeria is well endowed. From the south to the north, from the east to the west, there is no part of this country that will plant a seed that it will not grow or germinate. This land is blessed. This land is endowed, I can say, with multiple talents. But why are we suffering? It's either because we are guilty like the man with the ten talents. We have refused to put to effective use the talent that God has given to us. We have refused to manage what the Lord has given to us effectively. We have also engaged in the blame game 
of the man with one talent. Look at what the man with one talent said. said, Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I need you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. The same energy, the same strength he used in digging the ground will have been enough for him to be productive. The same time we waste in blaming ourselves, in engaging in all kinds of tribal uh, games in our country, the same energy we use in corruption, if we have deployed that same energy to turn this talent, this blessing that God has given us to productive use, this land will not be the way it is. This country will not be the way it is. We cannot continue to blame our leaders. We cannot continue to blame others. It is time for us, particularly as Christians, to stand and be profitable. Profit, bring profit to the glory of God. In your place of work, be effective. In your place of work, be faithful, be diligent, bring increase. Use your gift, use your skill to improve that area of your influence. Use your gift to be a blessing to the church of God where you serve. God expects you to be profitable. And we can only be profitable when we put this talent to use. And that's why the topic is saying, be profitable with them. Even the spiritual gift that God has given us, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, make us to know that this gift is for the benefits of all. It's not just for self. It's not just for you. It's not just about ourselves. It is time to think about being a blessing to others. As we prepare our hearts, minds, and bodies to fellowship with the brethren today in our various churches, let's be reminded again that as one body in Christ, we have a part to play in the prosperity of God's purpose for man. You have something to give. You have something to receive. Do not look down on what God has given you. Do not look down on that opportunity to serve. Do not look down on the grace of God that God has given you. Do not look down on yourself. Put to use that little gift that God has given you. That's all he's expecting from you. And he will certainly bring increase to whatever labor that we engage in. I pray that God will bless your labor. I pray that God will bless your service in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not deny others of the blessing of your gifts. There are others whose blessings and increase is dependent on the usage of your gift, on the effective usage of your talent, particularly in the church. Maybe you are a chorister. Sing faithfully. Be your best at what you are doing for the Lord. And the Lord will mightily reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's be reminded that any gift of God you fail to put to use or use it will be taken from you. It is important for you to know that whatever you did not use can be taken away from you. The man with the one talent, the master said, take away from him that one talent and give to the man with ten talents. May your gift not be taken away. May your leadership opportunity not be taken away. May your role not be taken away. May your talent not be taken away. I pray that you will put them to use in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. People of God, it is important at this time for us to pray for our nation, Nigeria. That on this 63rd anniversary of our nation, that the Lord will turn again the captivity of our land. Personally, also pray for yourself that on such a day like this, the Lord will turn away your captivity. 
whatever has hindered you, whatever has delayed you, whatever has in any form hold you down from putting to use the gift of God in your life, for putting to use the talent of God in your life, for becoming profitable with those talents, whatever it is that has held you back, today shall be losing in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, we must pray for ourselves. We must pray for our nation, Nigeria, even as we round up. God does not waste his gifts on wasteful men when he has men willing to prosper his kingdom without fear nor fear. Don't allow fear to hinder you. Don't allow past mistakes to hinder you. Stop looking back. Look forward. There is great things that God is still going to do in your life, in your family, and in our nation, Nigeria. I'd like you to join me as we go to God in prayer, in giving thanks to God for our nation, Nigeria. If you are using the devo devotional, the daily fountain, on page 183, you will see sets of prayer points that you can use to pray for this nation. I want to encourage you to please turn to that page and pray for Nigeria. And also pray for yourself. I would like to lead us in praying for this nation from Psalm 126. I will read verse 1 and verse 4. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Can you bring thanks to God for Nigeria? Thank God for this nation. Thank God for our independence. Thank God for our existence. Lord, we are so grateful for how you have preserved Nigeria for these 33 years, for the things you have done for us, for the various regimes, for the crisis we have survived as a nation. Lord, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because this nation is still together. Oh Lord, our desire is that you will visit our nation, Nigeria. You will turn around the captivity of this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are praying for Nigeria, brethren, we are praying for ourselves. The Lord will turn around your captivity. And when the Lord will visit you, oh, your story will be like a dream. Your testimony will be like a dream in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 4 says, Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Can we pray to God now and say, Lord, turn again the captivity of this nation. Set this nation free from everything that is holding it bound, from every power that is holding it bound. As that God will set Nigeria free from the hold of corruption, from the hold of instability, from the hold of wickedness and evil in our land. We need the Lord to visit us on a day like this that we celebrate the anniversary of this nation. When this nation gained independence, we need the Lord to set us free again, to turn again our captivity. Oh Lord, turn again the captivity of our nation, Nigeria. Turn again the captivity of families in this country. Turn again the captivities of individuals in this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'd like you to talk to God and say, Father, help our leadership. The, the word of God encourages us to pray for our leaders. Let's pray for our president, Bola Ahmed Numbu, and his vice, the legislators. Let's pray for the National Assembly. Let's pray for the judiciary that God will help them to lead us in righteousness, in holiness, in equity and justice. Let's pray that God again will prosper this nation and will make this nation to be profitable. Brethren, we must cry unto God. Our God answer prayer. Oh, you that answer prayers. Unto you shall all flesh come. We bring Nigeria before you, God. We ask that you make our nation to be profitable again. To make our nation, Lord, to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for our leadership, Lord. Let your hand rest upon them. Help them to do what is right. Help them to do what is just. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for your family also, that God will make your family to be profitable, that God will prosper you. God will prosper his church. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I'd like you to pray for the church of God in Nigeria at this time. Brethren, we hold this nation the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, I'd like you to pray that God again, we, we inspire, we empower the church to launch out afresh onto mission, onto discipleship that will profit, Lord, with the gospel that has been committed to our church as a church in this nation, that we as a church, we will be profitable. We will put to use the grace of God. The resources that God has endowed the church of Nigeria with will be used to be a blessing to the global church. This church has a lot to offer the, the world. And let's pray that God will bless our church again. Pray, O oh God, for our, our Father in God, the primate of our church, the most reverend Dr. Eli Shukudum in Dukuba, and the president of the women ministry of our church, our mama, Mrs. Angela Ebele Shukundukuba, as a provide leadership of this church, that this church will continue to prosper and be profitable in their time. Pray for all our archbishops and our bishops. As God's servants, the word of God says, he makes his servants flames of fire. Let's pray that God's hand will rest upon all God's people. And the church of God will again be on fire for the Lord with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is a gift that God has given us that we must be profitable with. I say to us as brethren, I say to us as a church, we need to be profitable with the gospel that has been committed to our church and to our hand. May God help us to be faithful in the mighty name of Jesus. As we round up our prayers, I'd like you to give thanks to God for the great things that God has in stock for you. The great things that God has in stock for your family. The great things that God has in stock for our nation. Even as we celebrate this 63rd anniversary of our independence. Give thanks to God. Appreciate Him. Give Him the glory. Give Him the honor. Give Him the adoration. He has promised that he will restore this nation. The years the Kanka woman are eating, the, the locusts are eating, there shall be restoration. There shall be restoration. Father, we give you thanks. We appreciate you for our nation, Nigeria. We appreciate you for the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. We appreciate you for our various congregations. We appreciate you for our families. We pray, O oh God, that we help us to be profitable with the grace, with the talent, with the giftings that you have endowed us with. And our life will bring glory to you. Father, we are warned not to be unprofitable. Therefore, we pray that, Lord, you will help us not to be unprofitable. We don't want to be like that servant that buried his own gifts. Lord, help us to put all that you have given us to the best use for your glory and your honor. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Have a wonderful time in God's presence this day as we celebrate the day of our Lord, the 17th Sunday in Trinity. God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.